Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some mass making. I've, met, I've got these three by three envelopes and they're super cute. I already coffee dyed them, did some stenciling and they're ready to go. I have some book pages and I have some embellishments that are a little bit on the smaller side. So these are three inch envelopes. So we're gonna make these into little tags. We could put a little hole at the top. I found some on Amazon. If you wanna look at my Amazon list below, there's a little storefront that you can go to and see all the things that I like to use. And so we're gonna get going on this. First thing I wanna do is just line the inside of this with some book page. Let's see. So, since I don't have my cutter here, which is annoying, it's all get out. I need it. I'm going to use my giant one. Okay, I think this is going to work. So I'm going to cut this in half. in here. Oh, really? Let's see, I'm going to put this about right there. Yeah, so I'll be able to use one book page per. Okay, it's all good. Alright, so I'm going to put doing I hope you guys had a good weekend I just uh, didn't do as much as I wanted to I was mostly working on some paper packs and had to get those out so I didn't have time to get up here this weekend but it's okay so anyway um yeah, this is gonna be super fun. All right, so I've got this lined, and we're gonna do one, and then we'll come back and we'll mask me. Okay, I'm going to ink this just a little bit. Don't really need to, but it just adds some depth. I don't know if I'm going to use this to, um, either glue down onto the page or if I'm gonna just have a floating pocket so I'm just gonna go ahead and ink the back a little in case okay and then the next thing is to make this look cute and I was just gonna add a little bit of lace. Let's see here. That's cute. lace. I believe I got these at uh, Caves for You. I think what I'm going to do here, wait, let me see if I can add some of this. Do I want to add this? And then this over it. 
I am going to add this sweet little trim. Like right there. Uh, maybe crisscross them. Oh, I better put on my hot glue gun. I'll cut two of these pieces here. Yep, I'm going to put them there. And there. this other one here. Put it right there. That'll be cute. Right? Hmm. So with the book page and then with the uh, stencil background, you really don't need a whole lot. So you can use die cuts here. You can use um, punches. Like if you have a flower punch or something that you want to put there. Um, you could have a little bow punch. You could do something like that. Let's see. A little scrap here on the desk. Could do something like that. Did that even cut a whole bow? I have no idea. That's funny. There we go. I think that one did not cut the whole bow. Do that. All right. Let's see if this is warmed up yet. A little bit. Just using a little bit here and there. Now, this one. See, it's not that hot yet. I think actually I'm just gonna do that and then we'll go from there. So then Pulling out some of these little cards. I think I printed them. This is from these neutral ones. It's from Nostalgic Dreams. And so I'm using Nostalgic Dreams and the Lace Masterboard stuff. It's a very neutral kits, both of them. And uh, I need to make some more uh, neutral stuff. So... Let's see here. Put that in there. And then need this one. Yeah. Perfect. I still feel like I need something here though. Let's see what that looks like. So I have a lot of laces, guys. I'm trying to use them. So I'm just going to be pulling stuff out 
and using them because that's what I got them for. <laughs> I'm going to cut that little top part off. So I don't like how that looks. I actually like it more tattered. <clears throat> Okay, and then I can add that pretty one that I liked that had the pretty pieces on there. I'm gonna take this off. Okay, so if I put that in there, whoop, let me go ahead and put this down here, that there, so. And that looks super cute. Okay, and then we're going to punch a hole. Okay, let's put a little hole in here. And then we can put one of these. to tie it or I'm not sure yet. There you go, our little simple little embellishment. Okay, now it's time to get on a roll and let's start making making a bunch of them. I could still put that little bow there. We're gonna start with that. I feel like I could put some little rhinestones there. Let's just put these here real quick. A few of these here. I know I have one of those. Let's see. 
These are so cute. Okay. Well, that was just a little added touch. And, <laughs> and I think I need a bow on this thing. I'm just gonna put one there. Cause I feel like I need that. feeling it needed something but there we go okay cute little I mean how cute is that on a page right let's see I have this page here, and I just put that on there. Isn't that cute? Or you could have it the top of your journal page like that with a little paper clip. So there you go. All right, so that's what we're making. You can leave that there for inspo. And we're going to get going now. So we're going to do the book pages on the inside. I think I cut this one too small. It's okay. I'm going to cut this down. get this in there as much as I can. I just feel like trying to get that glue in that little bit of envelope won't be so easy. So, try to open this up. Okay, well, I stopped it too soon, but that's okay, see? All good. Just gonna cut around that. Just gonna relax here. I don't know why I'm all tensed up. <laughs> I'll 
should just be enjoying this. I mean, I am enjoying it, but you know what I mean. I feel like I gotta hurry for some reason. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna be tall enough, so I'm gonna have to use those for a different thing. Too bad. All right, I'm gonna leave this in here. Just gonna glue the top part because that seems to be the easiest way. So we started this new series called Fire Country, I think it is. Not bad. Um, you know, the guy that is in it, um, he's um, he was on the SEAL team, and I was watching that for a long time until they sw switched over to Paramount Plus, and I didn't have Paramount Plus at the time. So I was like, are you kidding me? So I couldn't finish that series, and now I have no idea where I left off. So I gotta go figure that out. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay. Oh, that one's a little crooked. <laughs> That's all right. Still going on with the blue bloods. We'll be doing that for quite a while, I think. Because it's a lot of seasons. <laughs> and so we're probably just gonna record the the new one when it comes out. Um, I think it's February maybe? I can't remember now. Oops, I didn't uh was I supposed to do all the inking at the same time? Yeah, I'll do that next. All right, we're gonna get these in here. So let's see, we got one, two, three. So the fire country is about uh, the guy that was um, in prison that gets the chance to um, join like the fire team or whatever as a firefighter, uh, as a prison firefighter, and then a reduced sentence, I guess, with good behavior and stuff. So. Very dangerous job, though. Crazy dangerous. So they have lots of, like, pop-up wildfires in this place, and they all gotta put them out. So, there's a lot of interesting, like, history on the characters and stuff, so it's interesting. Let me cut these.
Hopefully you've been watching that. I guess the new Survivor is coming out. My husband loves Survivor. I mean, honestly, I could give or take Survivor. Sorry about you Survivor fans. But once I get into it, because I'm kind of like, well, I kind of have to watch it because he loves it so much. Um, and once I get into some of the characters, if I like them, then... I can get into it, but I don't know. So yeah, that's coming up soon. Well, I hope you can hear me because I don't know if my AirPods are working. to figure it out so I'm just gonna keep on going keep on swimming so yeah I hope you guys are enjoying these mass makes from the last from the looks of the last one I made it seemed like they were quite popular so that's good more book pages already? Oh no, I got a couple more. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what happened? Now, if you didn't have book pages or there weren't book pages you want to use, then you can, you can use uh, music paper. Or you can use a digital, maybe one that matches the journal you're making. Uh, since I'm doing the mass making, I'm trying to use neutral as possible. So that it will match any journal. I'll just do this last one um, because realistically I probably won't get them all done. I'm starting to get hungry. I had a very small lunch and now I'm getting super hungry. to make because I was trying to um, I don't know trying to add you know how you add another meal to your rotation but I'm just kind of bored with what I've been eat and eating and so I'm trying to find easy but tasty type of and um we're back on the keto right now. Just trying to get back into uh, where we should be weight wise. And I find that I do so much better anyway uh, without any of the flour, the white flowers. I don't know, just messes me up. a really hard time digesting all that stuff 
and the sugar doesn't help because then I have sugar and I just want to eat candy <laughs> and chocolate and well at least there's some decent uh, low carb sugar free chocolates now oh my gosh so the Russell is it Russell Stover I think it's Russell Stover they have uh, some variety um chocolates now that are sugar free and I was like oh and they are not half bad seriously for sugar free now we were having the lilies chocolate because we if we make our cookies with the almond flour and stuff almond and coconut flour we use the um what do you call it um the lilies chocolate chips and they're pretty decent so and they're not cheap though well either is anything keto really so i like my keto bread once they came out with a one carb keto bread i was like all about it because then i can make like a grilled ham and cheese sandwich or i could have toast with cream cheese on it But sometimes, you know, the bread makes me want more bread. <laughs> so I gotta make sure I only have like, like try to, I try so hard to only have like two slices a day. Did I do this one? But then they came out with these like keto buns for hot dogs and um, hamburgers. So I like to have the brats. Those are good. I never had those before in my life until I met my husband. He was, he's from Wisconsin, so they're all about brats. <laughs> I was like, ah, what's a brat? <laughs> and then um, sauerkraut, which I was like, I actually like it. Pleasantly like it. I never did before, like when you get your loaded hot dogs or whatever on the corner. You know, I lived in Virginia. I used to work downtown, I was stationed at Fort Lee. And, um, <laughs> I used to uh, have, we used to do, uh, the group of us would do hot dogs like once a week. We had our little spots. Okay, so anyway, here we go. I don't know if I want to do the same thing. Let's do this one. This one's cute. All my pens are over here. Hmm. Let's see this one on the bottom. This is cute. Maybe just there. This one super easy on myself. Oh, you know what? I probably should do the a small hole. Let's see. Maybe do like a... Oh, that's cute. Little stars. Oh, I like this copper one. No, this is bronze. Let's do a bronze one. Oh. 
those are a little thicker. I went quiet on you guys. My bad. I hope you're crafting with me. Making some fun ephemera for your journals. Let's see. We can use this cute little one. here so might as well use it well let me ink this real quick again this was from the uh, lace master board digital of mine I need to do another one I have um, of lace to use guys and I need to do some kind of another lace master board I think because I can use it up it makes gorgeous ephemera Maybe from winter mocha. No, winter. Oh my goodness. I'll leave the <laughs> I'll leave the ones I used alone. Oh my gosh. I can't even remember my own stuff. Okay, how fun is that? So I'm thinking like three pieces in each one. And it kind of gives some fullness to it. So I got three in there. So there we go. Moving right along. Just put these here to enjoy while we're sitting here. And let's, what are we going to do? Let's put our little hole in there. Now, if you don't have these or with the brads, you can always use like a piece of your book page. I don't know if this will cut through this or not. We can try. I don't think it likes, oh, maybe, where is it? Oh, there it is, okay. There you go. Now this is super thin paper book page, but it still works. Just dab a little bit of this on there. But put that on there. reinforce that I still like the uh, <laughs> I still like this better so I'm just gonna put one of these oh that's like a little heart 
cute. Oh, can put a heart on here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that didn't work so well. Don't really like that very much, but it'll stay. And I will put on some of this lace so as to not mess it up. All my laces are coming out. All right. Let's put this in here. I'm not even going to see that it's a uh, heart, probably when I'm done. That's all right. It's okay. I didn't need to go that much. I was going to do a bow, but then I was like, eh. Because this is thicker, I don't really need to do a bow. I could just do that. Now where are my scissors? There we go. this because this is super cute. This little ruffle trim. My goodness. Now I could just do it like at an angle like this. Is that overkill? Mm, it might be a little bumpy. It would be gorgeous, but it would be a little bumpy. So I think what I'll do is I'll put this cute little trim right in the middle. So fast and easy, guys. Uh, if you want to grab the envelopes, they're super cheap on Amazon. And they really are cute. <clears throat> I'm trying to... I bought them a while ago and I've been trying to use them. So I thought since we're, we were doing the mask make with the envelopes last week, we might as well do another one. All right, let's do a little something at the top here. Let's do one of these. OK, 
cute. That way there's a little cute thing sticking up there. And then we can do a little bow, I think, here. With, do we want seam binding or do we want lace? Well, what do I do with that seam binding I just had? Really? Hmm. So if you're doing like a journal that has color, you can take your seam binding and make a bow and put it on there. Um, you know, that'll make it a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> I have it in this basket of goodness here um, from Scrap Cabin. This Scrap Cabin? My Scrap Cabin Shop. Yeah. She makes it so easy and with all the colors she has, it's just so fun. Now this is white and that's cream. So, let's see, do I want to use this? I'll use this one. It's like a mushroomy color. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. It looks so cute right there. Might be overkill, but it's all good. <laughs> and then you can add a little pin. I love adding a little pin. Some beads. It's on there. Little silver bead. So this on here. So a little bronzy, coppery type of embellishment, and there you go. So these are so fun, you guys. Oh, now we, this one needs something else. What am I gonna do there? I thought I was gonna go simple on this. Okay, we're just gonna go simple on this one. Otherwise, we're gonna rack our brain too. And I don't want to do that. Oh, we could add some of these fun little sparkly bits. Let's do that. I bought a, such a nice little picker and I can't find this stinking thing. That's okay. Next time. <laughs> Next time we'll have the tools and we'll know where they are, right? Yeah, right. I'm getting hungry. Okay, don't like that A little gloop. Here we go. That just finished it off. Okay, let's do a couple more. Okay, 
black one this time. Oh, this is a pretty one. Well, that's not working out so well. <clears throat> here. What am I going to decorate this one with? Hmm. I really like that. So these laces I got a long time ago from ks for You. She was doing some live sales, but uh, she hasn't done a lot of live sales lately, but just thought I'd share because she does have a shop that you can go um, online and purchase from her. So I'll leave that below. Oh, okay, I just like to buy laces, so, and she has really good prices. So that was easy enough. To 
three. We only did four? No. Did we really? <laughs> it seemed like we did so much more. See, now this, this looks a little blah, doesn't it? Let me look around. almost a little catastrophe. <laughs> Not really. All right, we're putting this down right there. So cute. Make one more. All right. Let me see here. I'm gonna have to repin all of these laces. Ah. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. Go this way. I'm just going to cut that off. Then it looks super tattered. Lace makes everything fun. I love it. Can't help it. Now, do I want to go the other way too? I don't want to X. Well, I'm going to go with that. And then, otherwise, it's too matchy matchy. This. Yeah, I kind of do. Where do I want this? Kind of down here a little bit. Try taking this off without cutting the beads. There we go. How fun is that? Do you 
you hear those birds going by? Lots of birds. Jeez, I just totally made that crooked, but that's all right. There we go. Maybe I'll cut this off a little. That side will be straight, and then this side can hang off. All right. Yeah, let me put this under here. This guy under here, tuck it in, let's see if I can get that in there, There we go. Cutie, cute, cute. That is adorbs. Okay, we went with the side slant pocket. <laughs> I think it looks cute though. Alrighty, let's see what do we have here. That's cute. straight but hey it'll be all right down there well that doesn't look very good let's just turn it upside down so we can see the flowers and then we can add this little tag Whatever this is, you know what it is. Gosh, I hope that you didn't miss out on anything. Oh, I forgot to put my little thing in here. Nope, I need to squish it down more. Oh, we can do it off to the side. That'd be cute. Make these little tatter there. Just do that off to the side. And then put these in. And this one. You know what? I might just do a tab. Yeah, one of these again. Come on now. 
There we go. <laughs> Put that in there, right there. And then, I want one more of these. Yeah. I feel like you need three items at least in there. And then I'm gonna put that up. There we go. All right. I think that is going to wrap it up, you guys. I did, um, let's see, one, two, not that many, but I am a little tired today, guys. So one, two, three, four, and five. How fun. And then we, I've got to work on these, I guess. Oh boy. Well, I got a lot to do, you guys. But that was fun, wasn't it? Awesome. All right, guys, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed that little mask make. And uh, I hope you are having a good week so far. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for stopping by. All right, have a good week. Bye for now.